Strike continues at Rutgers University as faculty and students continue to push for higher wages and better working conditions. Jasmine Payute joins us now live from Rutgers Camden campus with the latest on negotiations. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Jim. This will be day two of the strike that comes at a critical time for students with the final exams only three weeks away. This effort now getting the attention of Governor Phil Murphy as he brought both sides to the state house to find a resolution to all of this. So here's what we know and why they say they are striking. Now, organizers for the three unions picketing say the reason they're on strike is secure better work conditions, health care benefits, and job security for part time lecturers and graduate students. Union organizers say university administrators aren't budging on those demands. But the university president says otherwise. In a public letter, President Jonathan Holloway says he's disappointed a strike was authorized, saying significant and substantial progress has been made in negotiations, such as wage increases of about 20%. I don't know if it'll be settled quickly. I mean, I think mostly that's up to management. That's up to President Holloway. This has been going on for 10 months. So when people start talking about deadlines, it's hard for us to hear that. We've been bargaining since May. We've been trying to get this done for a very long time. We've been working very hard. And this is where we are because the university has pushed us to this point. As the strike continues, the governor says one thing he will not support is tuition hikes to reach the union's demands. We'll continue to keep you updated on this. This strike expected to start sometime around 9 o'clock this morning. Jim Janellison, back to you in the studio. All right, we'll be watching to see how it unfolds. Jasmine, thank you for that.